Jim Lewis here. Uh, today I'm going to be building a, uh, a little stand for a backdrop for doing product photography. And uh, it's real simple, it's not going to take uh, much money or time to build. And it's basically going to be built out of PVC. So the components, <clears throat> we got these little PVC uh, half inch elbows at Home Depot. Um, they're like real, really cheap, like a buck or something a piece. So we got four, <clears throat> four elbows. We got uh, two end caps. And then we got a, a half inch, this is all half inch PVC. And then we got, this is a 10 foot section of half inch PVC. Um, all this stuff is really inexpensive. I'm not sure I'm going to use this stuff. This is uh, the cement to basically glue these parts onto the PVC. And But if you don't use it, then you can easily take it apart and fold it up and stuff. So I'm not sure whether I'm going to use this. This is a really nice tool. It's a PVC cutter. And it took me a little bit to figure out how to use it because it's kind of a strange gadget. But basically what you do is you have to really pull this open hard and then the blade opens and then you put the PVC in there and then you close it and it's kind of hard to close when the pipe is in there because the blade is cutting through the PVC. So it's a ratcheting uh, plastic pipe cutter. I think it was about 12 bucks from, from Home Depot. So I'll put the safety on here. All right, and then once the stand is done, put these clamps to clamp the paper onto the stand. These are a little bit too big. You can get smaller ones. And these are really inexpensive too. I think a couple of bucks a piece. So we got our tape measure to measure out the sizes, the lengths of PVC tube. A little pen to mark off the cut points. And then I figured out that we're going to need uh, one piece 29 inches, four pieces 12 inches. Okay, and this is the paper. So basically what we're trying to do is get something that can support the backdrop paper. There's really like no good way to hold this up here. So it keeps like rolling up and um, just wanted to get a nice stand to keep it in the right position during, during the photography. All right, so first thing we're going to take the tube, we want 29 inches. So, now you can use any measurements you like according to the size of the paper that you have. You want a couple of inches over the length of the paper. That's 29. And then we need four pieces of 12 inches. So we're going to go and then I'm going to use the first 12 inch piece to measure off the other 12 inch pieces. So this go like that and then here's our mark. Pretty easy with half inch uh, PVC, it gets a little harder around one inch. And I'm going to pull this back open. Alright, so there's our first 12 inch piece. And then we'll just line these up. This is our last 
ครับPieces. <coughs> this is going to be the cross tube part, which is a little bit bigger than the paper. Alright, so now all we have to do, which is real simple, we take, uh, take one of these end caps, push it on like that. Take one of these elbows, just kind of twist it on. It feels pretty strong, so I don't think I'm going to need the, the glue here. And then I'll take another 12 inch piece like this. And I'm going to take an elbow, actually, that's like uh, another one of these. surface and then we're done. So hope you find that useful. It's a real inexpensive way to make a little back trap holder. You can make this higher if you like, make it wider. Um, it's probably stable enough. Another option is to put some weights inside the tube to make it a little bit more balanced but it seems fine as it is. Um, these clamps could be improved, little smaller clamps. Probably nice to have three of them. Alright, thanks for watching. <laughs>